They said he's 24. Because they will test my bone, test my blood, test everything around me. And it's all going to come out and say I'm 24. I swear that was what my sh that machine told me yesterday. He said, all my body, composition, everything, call. They're like 24-year-old. That's 16 years uh, short. That could be an extra 16 years for me if I can maintain that till I cross a 60. I may get extra 18, extra 20. Trust me, it's worth it. Hello there, my caller. Oh, have I lost you? Hello. Yes, Hello, sir. my name. I'm glad I haven't. Yes. How are you doing this? Hello, evening? sir. I'm blessed. I'm really, really blessed. Thank right. you so much. Thank you, too. Thank you for helping us to keep our mental health intact. Bless you. Because hmm. of all these things going around, and uh, when we have somebody like Maya, do, we still feel relaxed. Like, okay, some people, somebody's still going our direction. Yes, it should. And we are so, so grateful. Maya, no, thank you so much. Um, you know what is happening in Nigeria? Only I want to Honestly, I was still looking at the analysis of our rise today. You will explain, Taya. You will explain Nigeria, Taya. You won't understand. You go explain. Taya, I, no. my, hmm. by the way, my name is Olu Alomo. I'm calling for the second time. I will not be angry today as before, as the last time when I first called. Uh, so, I for community standard and everything. I when I look at Rufai, you go analyze every, the next thing you want our country to be great. But come away, you don't share, show more auto or are you just like um like, like uh, I, I, I don't know. But the thing is that the the other lady in her eyes left actually because of her mental health. She is tired of bad news. Yeah, uh, uh, daughter. She is tired. You will see her sometimes when she'll be oh, the, the guy be. just I mean the lady just left. And he, she left. I forgot her name right now. She to do. To do. She's to do. To do. She left. To do, yes. Unannounced, and she did make a fuss about it. Not leaving and then okay. going somewhere else to do something else. She uh -huh. seems to just zone up on yes. top of Nigeria matter completely. Yes. yes, she was tired. Her mental health issue. She actually said it one time like that when she was reading the news about the kidnappers and everything. It was Rufai that was holding. Rufai was actually holding her hand like. Outside, outside the camera so that she could calm down and they'll wow. just catch her breath that like she knew that it's, it's really different. Yeah, I knew so that she was... Not a, a family member. Life. I didn't know that. No, 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 no. Not a family member. She was she was, she was like uh, reading the news out about the kidnapping that happened somewhere in the north oh. and some people that died along the line. So okay. she, she she felt devastated, not a family member. So she she, she didn't have probably the uh, that mental capacity yeah, to understand what to, is happening to, in Nigeria. To, to and she, undo it, yeah, to undo the name. Yes, yeah, and she's not my ego. She's not in my ego. When I look at our press people talking, our country, our bank, look at these people. Are you are they wine? A, a country love Akpabio. Akpabio is about the, the most corrupt politician in the class of James Ibori, as he recklessly corrupt. You, Baba. And you. that's your Senate president. Uh -huh. Um, I, I thought when Tinubu went to Qatar talking that time, Kumako go go from the number one red flag for your restaurant. I said you know, one one chief marketer Nigeria. I know he's a chief the marketer. They, they Everybody know knows him before he all gets all to all their all country. All of them know you. Uh -huh. know Qatar you knows you. Know. And and this man, why you ask a question sometimes a day about two days ago that? Who knows this guy? Where is he coming from? Who are his friends? Who are his... I know somebody yeah. who was actually his friend. Do you? I know an uncle who is actually his friend, yes. Right. And uh, well, I will not how, talk too much about so it. bad that none of them want to come out and speak for him? Thank you, Mayegun. I will say something about it. Please. In 2006, this uncle told us that if you know this person, you will eat him. Hmm. In 2006, that time we are following Fashola, Fashola, Fashola. Yeah, yeah. And because of Tinumbu behind Fashola, these people went to support Obani Koro. That if you know him, you will not talk this way. He still there lived with me in the UK. I know him very well. Hmm. That's that, you know, I don't want to say much about it because uh, uh, we are going to talk about you, it. I, even if you and this particular you know. person, hmm. my, my, this uh, particular person, all his friends, because all of them were like junior colleagues, uh, junior, like, uh, MKO was like a leg to all of them. Right. So they are always surrounding uh, MKO, including that my uncle. So all of them knew themselves through they, Abiola. They, they this Baba, everybody, hmm. everybody in that clique up to now, including MKO, believed he went to Harvard. Wow. Because yes. I remember. You are having it for the first time. Oh, really? <laughs> some like some people knew. went to Harvard. Ask Zeli Momodu. Ask Zeli Momodu for school when it's in Obolo. Hmm. Ask him. Now remember, 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 Baba Delimo Modu, two bonitino bullo. Yeah. The first thing he said, I've had lamb more now. 
<laughs> Baba, Not the old me say, Baba, even me will be small me, Baba. Eh? I still hear about uh, University of Chicago, not Chicago State University. When I was, when I yeah. knew Tifnubu in 1999, the issue was the yeah, University of Chicago. Now we are now dealing yeah. with Chicago State University, Baba. People yeah, I don't want to say so much. Uh, man. See, mm. these persons, uh, I don't think everybody, they, they are all these countries, everybody knows me. And again, one thing is that none of his old friends, according to that, my uncle is still alive today. They bear the same name. If anybody who knows and tells you know who this, what, 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 what they are hearing today, he would confirm to them. Mm. This person came to Nigeria and I wanted to like be governor, like I was trying to give back. And uh, the Alake then called him that, okay, you will need to parley with um, Bolao if you want to. Okay, Alake wanted to settle for them. The man was already at the palace. The immediate thing who entered, that brought brought to tears that I can never reconcile with this person. Kadisi, I'm sorry, he walked out. That I would rather not be governor in the good place than to reconcile with this person. That was somebody we can call his friend. Hmm. I want to go in the Then he was saying that I am I want to tell you I the in And I want to tell everybody, we didn't vote for him. Our I mean, evil brother don't kill him. Ah, ah, really, let's that. be honest. Ah, so, 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 that's why I don't want to just him. go hard on everybody that speaks out today. Yeah. Right? You know why, Baba? Because we all saw what happened. So, but, we yeah. all saw it. Hmm. We didn't even vote for this man. No. He put himself there. Although, so, I, I, I want our, some of our evil brothers to understand this thing. And then, uh, let us, my, 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 relax. Nigeria, for a while, no, my, we be told, no. you, they follow me, now. you have... follow it till the year, since I be, I told people, I said, oh, yeah. see, people like us are supposed to be like a peacemaker here. People with the torch bearers, okay? Yeah. We are supposed to be like yeah. the torch bearers. People that says, oh, yeah, all sides. Now they, now I won't, now I won't kill yourself inside this darkness. Hang on, here is light. Okay, come here. Yeah. Let's 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 uh, let's listen to your differences yeah. now, okay? Now let's talk if yeah. you want to go or not, Abby. Now people like us oh, yeah. are the ones who is saying oh, do yeah. it peacefully about the way this field thing they go, eh? Blood deal my last year. But well, I will go the judge more. I will I will me no call the judge more. I mean, my next year on WhatsApp group, all my they can't come out. They come out and talk. Now we got now. Oh, the judge more. If you think you have they can't start it again. And again, this Baba that was promising them that I will make sure I'm open Jaron. I will make sure you have electricity. Fabulous sure, 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 note. Mm -hmm. I will make sure you have electricity. No, so yeah. we have now. Only constant. Only constant, only constant electricity. Oh, only constant electricity. But it didn't, didn't say, it it didn't say how constant and what is constant. How constant. Does it uh, mean exactly. that uh, they will be having it constantly? But it's not. Uh, I don't, Baba, for one night, honestly. Uh, 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 unfortunately, unfortunately, we are in it. And every Nigerian out there, and all of you supporting this person, and all of us that are hanging in the, uh, some, those who are on the fence that were trying to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, be decent, this shame is on all of us. It is. If we, if we, if we are not talking, they know us. Somebody will see me, I wanted to call me Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. Wanted to call me, your president is this and that. You know, I want to travel. I, I, then God be a booty, but not giving passports. No, I have one that one I'm using. It's on all of us in front Don't of my God. Because uh, now, now, now we could come on the report. It's people like uh, those where they carry green one, they could report to you how it be. Now you could call, they be like, eh, really? really? It must be very hard, though. It must my, be a friend of mine was going to Nigeria. I swear to God, it was going to Nigeria through, through Turkey. Right. He was going to Nigeria. So when he, when he got to Turkey and uh, they, they checked his passport and uh, they asked him to go to one side, and then some other African guys were going. You know, they were not like obstructing them. They asked questions that why am I here? The, the man just asked him to wait. He was waiting, actually waiting for a shuttle. They were taking to an hotel before the next flight is ready. So immediately he brought out his American passport to that uh, custom person. He said, oh, you should have shown me this. You can go. That, that changed the whole thing. Baba, I hate, I hate that. Baba, that thing will tell you. See, everybody, we get Nigeria, we get Nigeria passport, an American passport, or British passport, right? Uh, when that humiliation happens, right? And then you suddenly just say, okay, yeah. oh, it is the passport that's the problem, Abby. Bring out your American yeah. passport and say, can you give me that passport, please? Can you give uh -huh. me that? And say, okay, oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then give him that. No, not even give him American passport. Like, you see, American and British passport are so, so, so unique and powerful that you, sh you don't have to give it to yeah. anybody. You can flash it somehow. Eh? Yeah. Especially when it gets to that yeah. annoying stage where they are playing, yo, know, you are Nigerian with you. But, but that annoys me even more to say, Every now and then, we can't blame them. Sports. We can't blame them. Me. Uh, the one is where I come from. We can't from. blame them. Eh? Look, look at look, look at the look at the state capture. Look at the, eh. the druggie. 
Hey. I mean, it's on, it's on all of us. See what is happening in the country. Look at the security. Exactly. Look at over, over 300 children. Abba. You know, in Shadi is in early. So nobody takes us seriously. So it's, it's, it's on us. God will help us. And then we have to, we have to continue to speak out. We and I'll to. thank you for being our Tofano man. I appreciate it, Mayago. And then so. we are doing our own thing in our own little way. I and Nigerians, if you don't come out, and I know what, Shakuma, somebody already said you, Shakuma, well, you, you tell everybody don't come out, it, 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 it's on you. Uh, no, Allah. The Lord will help us. Thank you so much for all you do. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate this. Okay. Thank you, Mayago. Anyway, to everyone. All right. Have a good one. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, that's a very lovely. Uh, oh, uh, uh, it is a passport. That's a problem, Abi. I do have another call on the oh. line. Um, hello there. Yeah, hello, good evening. I didn't know I was I would be able to make it. I know sometimes <laughs> it's so frustrating that uh, you know you're like, I don't even know if he's gonna pick it. So yeah, I have now. Honestly, I have I've been trying for like I didn't even know how many times. But my my so my whole take on everything is this. So because uh Tunubu started lifting the band on uh Niger Republic, right? Uh-huh. So my yes. thing was, what type of agreement do they come to for him to start lifting those uh, sanctions? No, 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 no agreements. <laughs> he sanctioned them on his own. He lifted it on his own. And those ones are even yet to respond. It's been over 48 hours now, unfortunately, Baba. They haven't responded to say, ah, oh, thank so, you, Jerry. It's like they've moved on. Right. My whole point is this. That is a very big shame, right? Because when a country, when you search on a country, for you to leave those sanctions, you guys have to have some certain level of agreement. Hey now. You understand? Here you go. Like, for example, Baba, right. Una, Una don't receive their delegation appealing to you to right. please lift this thing now. Then you give them conditions. Say, this, 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 this. If you meet them, eh, I will lift it. Baba, these guys know this right. Abuja visited. They don't even call it. He banned them and so, lifted it himself. You know, it, it's a shame. Yeah, now, look, Africa, look, look okay. at a country like me. Yeah. Look, look at a country like me, Jay. Right, country like Niger, bypass your sanction without communicating with you, without negotiation with you, without cutting any type of deal with you. You sanction these people, you're lifting your sanction. Now, what makes you think country like Ghana that has some leverage of cloud. some power with uh-huh. it? You understand? And, you know, like, it, it, so when... People be like Nigerian, Nigeria I say sometimes we don't have to blame Nigerians that live in Nigeria. Because mm-hmm. Nigerians that live in Nigeria have not experienced anything good. And majority of these people don't even have access to the internet or or even knows what is really going on. Because if they know, because mm-hmm. if they know, they will first of all start with their pastor. Because you understand? Because mm-hmm. I, I remember like back in the days when I was growing up. And pastors will tell tells you they are rewarding evil. But today's day, the pastors want their reward on earth. They don't even want to wait to to go to heaven and collect their reward. Why they will tell their what? Why why they will tell their church member to go and receive their reward in heaven? Why that the Jew is receiving his own on earth? When he gets to heaven, anything God gave him, he will just take it. That is extra. And you will be there. Why will take your own word in heaven? And somebody that you are following is taking his own year. Why are you preparing for the things you haven't seen? Why can't you fight the battle that you see that is in front of you? Now, then once you go to heaven, then that is another mission entirely. So we, in people there in Nigeria, there is a very big problem. And the problem is, you see how these are our elites. They know what they are doing. What they are doing is to make these people, the more they make them poorer, the more they can control them. Yes. yes. You understand? It goes and like the most so uh, like anyway. You know that that idea is so stupid. And I'm beginning to uh understand why, <laughs> you know, why Nigeria right. Nigeria seems to be like uh, you know, it's like Nigeria is cost, but some people were asking that is Nigeria cost or are no we, are Nigeria is okay. No, Nigeria is not because the whole thing is they don't have enough information for them to because the Nigeria is being run by propaganda from the pastor down to Iman to our prince, king, everybody. Because those people have access to the information. So whatever, you know, Nigeria is like this. Once you are rich, you can never go wrong and you can never be a liar. Due to, oh, you, you see Nigerians will be President Gote, right? 
And the other day, I see Tony Elumenu come to uh, Stanford and take picture. Everybody is uh, praising you. Know then I have myself to what is schools, Baba? Do you know how much money right. they actually give myself, to, buy, to buy those validation? Avad. Right. Oxford, ask myself. All these places. Is, mm -hmm. Right. Hmm. Then my, my question was like, okay, what is wrong if Tony and Lumenu go to University of Lagos and take picture? University of Ibada, University of Benin. We have universities there. Why can't you go to those places? And how many times have we seen Bigate come to Nigeria and be going to University of Lagos and be taking picture? And, you know, I told my friend, I said, listen, the problem we have, this problem is going to continue until we wake up. I said, look at this guy, this richest man in Asia, which is uh, a, a, a catch by the, the Indian guy. Right. The Indian guy was doing Monopoly the same way uh, uh, Dangote was doing. Mm -hmm. he, he realized his, his, his function was not growing. He decided to open up the Indian economy. But today, he profit Karoket. And I said, from the past three years, Dangote wet have grow uh, 2%. This guy have 18 billion since, and he have 18 billion now. Yeah, now his wet uh, is not growing. His quota system is billionaire now. You get that? Right. I say, listen, person like Dangote, you are so rich. You have this uh, financial power. Mm -hmm. Open up the economy. More money for you. Exactly. If like you like, yeah, more money for you. Open up the economy. Like, the, at least in the U.S. U.S. do the same thing. When they, you like, uh, Bigate, Bigate used to do it. If you are a tech company, you are coming up, Bigate will give you an offer. He will buy your company mm -hmm. and merge it to his own. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then he was doing it in the, the Elon Musk and all these things. Donald Trump actually comes in and be like, listen, you can't be, you understand? You can't be doing that. Whoever have anything, let's just, you understand? That's why they don't like the guy. That's why they don't like the guy. So now I said, if don't go to you are that good of a businessman, open up the economy. More money for you and more money for your brother That's Boa as well. Exactly. Hmm. Right. Every, because once you because open up the people, economy, of people, they are making laws that are blocking and closing the economy of Nigeria, and it has always been like that. Because of him, they will shut so, down big uh, businesses. I have, and you hear about this right. business, and you know, Ibeto Cement told this story. The last right. time I read the story of Ibeto, right? Baba, I shed tears. Mm -hmm. Like, I hardly care. No, when I, I shed I, tears, I, so I, no, I go care, I go cry, you go see my tears, but. You know, most kids, right, most right. tears that are really that are really painful are the tears that are right. inside. They cry inside and say, "Man, fuck, man." And uh, you, and uh, uh, and another thing, right? So people were talking about Argentina and Nigeria, right? Yes. So when the president of this, this is the little the little, little research I did about this, their new president, right? Mm -hmm. This guy came into power. So the first thing he did is sold all the old presidential fleet, right? He sold everything because Argentina was even their situation was worse than the one Buhari left Nigeria. Yeah, now over so the, percent inflation. That's what they were dealing with. It was yeah, bad. He sold their, the entire presidential uh, fleet. He sold everything. Then this guy was taking regular play like every other person. Then he said the, the house of uh, assembly or whatever. He made everything together. Cut down the cost of the government, but go and look at this guy. Now he took Argentina out of inflation. He just in three months. Because you know something. In three right? months, when when you when you know when you have bleed, like you have cut now, you have bleed. Right. The first right. thing you have to do eh, is to put pressure on that uh, cut in order to reduce the bleed. Yes. Now you can then begin to talk about how many blood have you lost. Do you need another blood to be? You know what I mean. But first thing first, you first right. stop the bleeding. That's what Nigeria needed. Somebody needed to stop the bleeding first. So that, you see, yes. when you are bleeding on and somebody stops it, then you can begin to now go into recovery and say, okay, you know what? How much blood have you lost? But when Tifnumbu came, mm. Nigeria was already bleeding to death. What did they do? They just cut different other parts. Before uh, Tifnumbu, <laughs> the ministries they have in Nigeria, eh, the, the ministries, they were about uh, 44. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. They were about 38. Tip Nubu created extra okay. 10 to make it 48 ministries. Yeah, before Tip Nubu, this is just like nine months, 10 months. Oh. Before Tip Nubu, yes. uh, Nigeria has about, uh, mm. uh, what do you They have about uh, 2,300, uh, you know, MDAs, which is a uh, ministry, department, agencies, and all that. After Tip Nubu, they, right. uh, you do know that between the time Tip Nubu came in and now, Tip Nubu has created another. 
780 agencies, parastatas, eh? that is just mm. like job for the boys, job for the boys. Okay. Okay, Which now the the, now continues. This, okay, now this is the same people. Okay, the other day, you want to I didn't even know. Like I, I always think the president is going to another country. That country has to invite the president. That's but Tunubu make me start Tunubu make me start thinking like these guys is even sending invitation to these people. Yes. Oh, I'm coming to visit you. Now my own pro, my own thing is this as a president of a nation. Why are you so eager to go to other country? Because that's how they manage their money laundering. They need to use the presidential, presidential jet to carry cocaine or drugs or money. You have no idea. See, one scandal I'm still waiting for. Everybody, when they hear me here, they hear me. Oh, there's one scandal I'm still waiting for for this Tifnumbu when the presidential, uh, presidential jets eh, would be yeah. pounded in another country because some people use it to smuggle drug. Write that one down. Now, that one I see the wait for. All these scandals, other scandals, where would they see now? Eh? Now, that one I the wait for. They will yeah. say one country don't seize Nigeria plane, no presidential jets, because they take and carry drug enter that country. Now, so you go and eh, I mean, eh, finish. Because it, now, this eh. two number of a guy, you are running to all this country, and those countries you are running to, they are vast country. Yes. I don't even think any country as backward as Nigeria in the entire world. In the entire world. Right, I think Nigeria is the only country that no Nigerians as a people, because we as a people we are very smart. The problem we have is the leader, and we have the majority of us that is not only that they are dumb, but they are lack of information. And the, the, the thing, the thing, the politician did so well to make sure those people is kept the way they are is to use the pastors, the uh, kings and priests, and you name it, all these guys. That's why in Nigeria, like I said before, if you are rich, you can never be wrong. You can't tell lies. So based on your status, they'll say, oh, he's driving a Mercedes. Why do you say this? Why do you, you understand? I know. I know. And, anyway. and politicians will just hide behind those, those people and tell them, okay, you have to do this. You have to keep saying this. You will just be saying everybody will just be trapped. That's it. Okay, my thing is this. Now, a president, your nation is going through inflation, and the CBN or the whatever, you are, you are increasing the interest rate. Why you, is that favoring you? Because you increasing the interest rate, your small businesses can't run anymore because they can't capital, pay Exactly. Pay. They can't access resources to promote their business now. So I was like, no, okay, this is me. I said, I'll call my friend. I said, dude, I'm very young. If I should run Nigeria within one year, I will call Nigeria around. Nigeria will be a country. Everybody will be running. I said, it's easy. My friends will say, what can you do? I said, the first of all, for your country to function, right? Mm. If you can give any country 24 hours electricity, there will be a production. That's right. If that's all you so can do, who, that can turn I, around I said, the whole country in a way that all you do, the rest of all you're going to be doing is just to be putting policy in place to make sure that as the country is changing, that is there it. are policies that are put, you know, it's, oh, it is what it is. I, I, I see it's one. so easy. I, I see know. within a year, we did, if a president is in office, they said they judge the president 100 days. I said that is a Western world because those ones already have policy that they have to follow. Yeah. In like country like Africa don't need 100 days. Within two months, you can change the whole thing around if you are really, if changes. you know what you are doing. I know. Okay, anyway, first of all, what do you uh, need? Brother, let me take that? another one, okay? Because we are always uh, yeah, time in it, all right? So we are out of time there. Yeah, let me take sir. another one, sorry. Yeah, thank, you, sir. thank you so much. Uh, here. I I have another call on the line as well. Here, let's take it. Hello. Hello, Michael. Hello, my one second though. See, my callers remember, right? Most times when I mm. when I say uh yeah, or I call your name or something, I'm just trying to ask you to start rounding it up. It's not you starting afresh, okay? Yeah, oh, no, it's is that right. lady charm? Is that you? Yes, yes, it's Cham. It's Cham. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> well. Um, okay. Yeah, so I listened to your whole talk today. You know, and and I and I listened to you yesterday as well. I know. And I think just listening and seeing all those figures just so 
I don't know uh, the word to use. Last they... night. That was, yeah, last night. You know, that was, that, you know, that was so bomb. Good. Uh, I did, yeah, but it's, it's, um, you know, it's good. It's, I think it's good for people to know, to, actually. They the... needed to know. Did you see that massive like, yeah, uh, the... arranged with your looting that put in that place? Like, why would anybody read that uh, and still expect that something great is actually coming? Like, something why, why good is anybody... going to come from this government. It's clear that uh, nothing good is coming out of this government. But my suspicion, again, is I think there's a lot of money laundering going on because it doesn't really... It boggles the mind as to, you know, the amount of money that these people are stealing. And there is no... I can't... I don't understand. Then where are you taking this money to? What exactly is your intention with all of this money? Because the truth is, you can't take it anywhere with you. You will die one day and that money will be for what exactly? For who exactly? You know? And I don't think a lot of them actually think beyond, you know, what happens next. You know? Uh, you know I guess, yeah, 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 yes. To some extent, yes. Yeah. Maybe they don't give a damn about death. Maybe death is something they feel like, you know what? I live right, I eat right, you know, it's far from me, I'll go and whatever. But, you know, you and I know that that doesn't work like that exactly. <laughs> Anything can happen, you know. So, but um, I think yesterday's explosion was a good one. When, when some of them feels like uh, there will be no real consequences anyway, it's unfortunate that uh, those they are leading believes that there will be punishment even in the life after. But they don't care. And people can see that. So... Yeah, I'm not, but again, like I said, it's a good thing that you did that expose just and broke it down really well, so that people will not really, you know, have a in depth, a clear understanding of exactly how much we're being robbed as a people, and how people's futures are being leveraged as well. Then, with regards to Sheikh Gumi today, I think that the Sheikh Gumi can talk the way he's talking because Nigerians don't have a right to bear arms. Because if the right to bear arms is written into our constitution and everybody has a right to bear arms, he cannot tell us that, you know, we should see our land and our ancestral home so that some bunch of people can come and, you know, so that there'll be so-called peace, you know, or they will take it by force. Because if they know that they have to contend with people who have the right to bear arms, then they will know that it's not going to be easy. Yes, you might come with your AK-47, you, you will kill a few people, but will also kill you, you too, you will die. Okay, but it is, um, but because Nigerians don't have a, the right to bear arms, I, I mean, based off of our constitution. And then, you know, even if people chose to um, defend themselves, you have police and all of these other, you know, institutions that will then fight the victims because they are defending themselves rightfully so from people who would, you know, kill them, you know, and everything and things like that. So. I think he can get away with speaking the way he's speaking just because of that thing in our in that is not in our constitution, which is the right to bear arms. Because trust me, if people have the right to bear arms, then he will not talk the way he's talking. Speech. That's for sure. That, uh, you know, without uh, negotiation, there will be no peace because there will be no negotiation. Because there will be no negotiation. Just you come, you come one day, and then you will meet us. I mean, we will meet you. Sure. Yes, some of us will die, but you people too will die. As That's well, what they say. You and then my friend, you find out. So come around, you find out, too, place, yeah. Uh, you know, and, and threaten them with guns in their own ancestral land, and then in, in that own, and, and then find out exactly, you know. But but he can say what he's saying, and then you have somebody like Shigumi, you know, juxtapose that with somebody against somebody like uh, Mazin Namdekano. This man did not organize anybody for one day to go and you know steal people, ask for ransom, this and that and the other. Right, but he's in prison, and you have Shigumi running around the whole place telling us that oh, you have to, you have to deal with me so that I can give you guys lasting peace. He's the first person that they should have put in prison since he has put himself out there. And I guess it's part of the arrogance of being from the north is that nothing can. He you know feels like nothing can happen to him. Charm, you know something? I actually somehow, by chance, I'm thinking maybe, maybe, just maybe. He could probably meet his Waterloo under this uh, relic, Tifnumbu. Because look at that Bodejo guy. He got that place hundred million uh, naira bounty on the uh, Oh yes, yes, yes. Now they yes, are, they yeah. are probably seeing themselves at the DSS uh, detention right now. Namdekano just like, uh, is that not you? <laughs> uh, 
How come? How much did they pay? The I, I didn't even I didn't even pay a dime before they brought you to me. Exactly, you're yeah, here. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. I didn't even well, pay a dime. <laughs> do you know what, my girl? I can't. We can't rule that out. You know, and if that happens, that would be that would be a good thing, because again, like I said, there will be catalysts that will that will lead the country to disintegrate. And this might be one of those catalysts. Say he decides to pick up this Shigumi because, okay, enough of your ranting. We're not negotiating. Come and stay. Come and cool down in this uh, uh, freezing, uh, first of all. Boys, eh? <laughs> uh, those who you are giving moral yeah. booster, they need to miss you for some time. I'll stay here and let's see how that no, plays. No, you know, let's see how that plays and let's see whether the North will stay still or whether the North will decide, you know what, how can you be taking somebody like Shigumi, you know, he's this, and then decide, okay, you know what, Let's burn this country down, and all of us are okay. Okay, instead of burning the country down, let's all just go and separate it. You guys stay where you are. You can give your ancestral land to the Fulanis, all well and good. Us choice. here in the southeast, that will be your choice. And it's a good point that you made today that Shegumi is asking other people in the south, 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 east, south east, to see their lands. But you people who are the closest in proximity to those ones haven't done any of those things. You haven't given them lands to build a ranch, you haven't built them schools. And in fact, they're asking us to build schools. The same people that said that Western education is haram. You guys, you just keep making it up as you go. You know, which one are we to believe? Do you want schools or you don't want schools? You know what I mean? Like, stay in one so, place so that you don't confuse this uh, thunder, for God's sake, man. <laughs> what do you really want? So, so exactly. What do you really want? Exactly what do you really want? You said you want hospitals and this and that. Make up your mind. You know, you can't say you, you, you want education. Meanwhile, you think education is haram. See. Makes no kind of sense, you know? So I think for me that, that that's the one the one thing I picked up today is that you know this man is like, he's talking the way he's talking and he's saying the things that he's saying just because he knows that Nigerians don't have the right to be and so it will shock him. But again, like you said, maybe under this relic that we have here in government, you right? Know, can put his tongue. Uh, he says, because if oh, I didn't come here to tell you that uh, <laughs> yet you are la presidency. That started his own video. Be wearing this kind of uniform green. You remember the video now? I bet you watched oh. that program that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah and I we're all here, like, oh, well, which way to be all this? Eh? So this one all goes to <laughs> vigilante and all that. I bet if I didn't come here to tell all of you, say the guy did detention since uh, January 26th, some of you probably would not believe it.